we've got the hood off the car because we've got to fix all these bad spots uh, as you can see there's a bunch of trash in here and there's also a lot of uh, solvent pop and solvent pop basically looks like little dimples so I have got to get this thing sanded down uh, get it back smooth again shoot a little bit of base on it and re-clear this thing because this looks like crap all right got to get that done today or at least close sun starting to go down and then over here the plan is to take the bolts out of the fenders here these three bolts slide some paper underneath the fender and the body of the car here slide some paper back here direct the paper down this way and then spray this section of the fender gray and what that'll do is give you a nice clean edge that'll give you a nice little contrast there between the fender and the strut tower so and that back there is supposed to have a rubber seal that goes there that's why that kind of looks odd to you guys and then on the hinges i'm just going to spray those gray as well because they don't really i don't want to try to mix up any of this red we're just going to do gray on those so with that being said i'm just going to set you guys up in a time lapse watch me work and uh i don't know i have no clue what we're going to get done today but i'm going to try my best to get as much done as possible
ready, I'm on hard. Yeah. Ride or die. Ride or die, I'm on hard. And I promise you I won't be stopped. I won't be stopped. I'm on hard. All right, guys, that's it. Looks pretty good. It's got some trash in it, of course. It's got some bugs in it. I'll be able to buff all that out. I do think that a lot of the tiger striping and modeling, I think I got that out of it on this. Uh, we'll see, only time will tell. As you can see, it's kind of getting dark out here. But uh, looks pretty good. Uh, you'll probably be able to see a little bit of trash in it, but that's not a problem. We'll wet sand and buff that out. I know a lot of people are really concerned about my well-being and I, I know that's all it is <laughs> so i do appreciate it thank you so much um but in an area like this uh this thing is almost putting out no overspray or very very little i'll say uh but here's what i here's what i will say uh, guys always wear a mask okay don't do what i do a uh, base coat is nothing if it gets in the air it's pretty much dry immediately that looks a lot better to me i know it's not gonna look like much right now but just having the fenders trimmed out in gray, I don't know, adds a little something to it. It makes it look more like it's there again, intentionally red. Okay, so let's talk about this damn hood once again. This thing is about to drive me crazy. Uh, it looks pretty good as far as the modeling and tiger stripes. I can see a little bit of a dark area here or there, but it's going to be fine. But look at the freaking bug. Check that out. That will make you go insane when you know you spray something and it looks good and it's not like your issue like you're not the reason why it looks bad you have a bug crawl in it it's just it's like really really but hopefully it's tacked up good enough now to where uh, i can throw a quick wet sand and buff on it tomorrow and guys we're gonna be good to go we're gonna throw this hood on uh i'm gonna put the push rods in tonight i'm not gonna video that you guys have seen that done how many times now so i'm gonna get those in and what i will do is just pick back up with you and let you know if that fixed the problem or not um i think i showed you guys where i had to reweld that so that seems to work out good i'm gonna go ahead and get that put back on and uh i'll catch you guys probably later tonight or tomorrow and let you know how the car is running and uh finish buffing this hood out So that is center of the hole here for the stud. And as you can see, this guide plate is not center of the actual push rod hole. So we went with some comp cams, just standard cheap hardened push rods. These were like 80 bucks, I think, something like that from Summit. Um, they're supposed to be hardened anyway. We'll find out 50,000 shorter than the push rods that we pulled out of the car. So that will make up for the difference in the head.